Now you can edit this if I screw up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Basically, basically what I'm just going to do is it's not going to be like a Q&A session. It's just going to be, uh, you know, like what 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 we offer. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because basically the, the the basic questions that I get all the time and the main one is, uh, what you guys offer, what home time you offer, what lanes y'all offer, what, you know, what this and this, that, and the other. So, uh, basically you could just, you know, you know, you could just, you could just sell the company pretty much, you know? So <laughs> that's, that's, that's how, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's, what's hard with it is, you know, there's, there's guidelines. But then there's exceptions to the guidelines. Like I had one guy call from Utah last week, and he's like, "Oh, I need to do home weekly." So I asked him to rent, and he's like, "I think we could do a weekly." You know, I wrote the rules; it'd be two weeks out. Right. I mean, so there's so many like exceptions to the to the rule. Yeah. Like, and I mean, that's why I tell everybody, like, you know, they they want to know about what I, I mean, what I what I do and yeah. how I do it, and and I tell them like, yo, you know, I've been here for you know quite a while now, and and you know, my experience is a little bit different. I can pretty much say that, you know, pretty much now say when I want to go home, yeah. you know, versus you guys coming in and y'all got to, you know, y'all, the criteria is either two weeks out or, or, or however the criteria yeah, is. A lot of times it's seven to 10 days. Sometimes it's two weeks out, depending where they're at. And right. Then sometimes John will make a random exception. Like, oh yeah, we can do this with this guy. You're like, oh. Exactly. So yeah, just just like that. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. LOM community, what's good? What's good? Lockout men in your area. You guys been asking me questions about the company that I work for, JR Shrugel Trucking, up here in New Orleans, Minnesota. And I give you a lot of content pertaining to. Uh, Jan our Shrugel Trucking. So, today I was asked to come up here to the, uh, to the terminal and meet up with my man Tony. He's the new media director here at Jan our Shrugel. This is, uh, this is Tony, everybody. This is, uh, this the new media director? Uh, marketing coordinator. All right. Handling, handling the social media, internal, graphic design, graphics. Okay. Uh, yeah, a little bit of everything. Let, mm -hmm. let, let them know what you're about here, man. I mean, what, what, what your vision for the company going into the future? Um, so our vision is um, trying to bring get everything cohesive, bring everything, um, you know, to where it should be in the modern day. Um, some of the stuff's a little outdated, but uh, we're working with it. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can get it visually attractive. The, uh, the people in the upper office thought it would be a good idea for lockout men to come up in here and meet up with uh, meet up with this man to see if we can come up with any ideas of making JNR Shrugel, uh, you know, a place of interest for you up and coming truckers. So this is the terminal right here. You know, it ain't that, it ain't that big, you know. This is the main office as well. Uh, we got three terminals. We got one in Toma, and we have one in Columbus, Ohio. 
This is the shop right here. This is the shop. Oh, forgot to shut the door. So here I am, y'all. I am in the office on the second floor. Now, let me say something real quick. This is where you guys don't want to be, but you do want to be. You see what I'm saying? So this is, this is nice. This, this really is nice. So I'm about to meet Katie and Tony, and we're about to chop it up. How you like it? How y'all like it? J and R Swoogle? All right, everybody, so I'm gonna have to be a quiet a little bit, but uh, I am here. That's the infamous Katie. You can see her in action. That's who you guys will be talking to when uh, when you guys get hooked up with me and I transfer you over to her. So she's the one that will be calling you to let you know, to let you know about the company. Yo, what I tell you guys, I was going to come and bring Katie in for you. I'm going to give her the mic and yeah, speaking of mic, yeah, I am going to literally give her the mic. No, not give her the mic, but I'm going to give her the mic. You, you guys know what I'm talking about, damn it. You guys want to know about JNR Swoogle. I always tell you that I would give you the real and the raw about JNR Swoogle. What I always tell you guys is that my experience is not going to be your experience. What you can do is come on and try to get your own experience here with JNR Swoogle. Katie, my right hand woman, is going to give you guys a little bit of info about JNR Swoogle, what we offer, uh, what lanes we run, uh, the home time policy. Basically, this will be uh, a make the call video live with JNR Swoogle. This is something that you guys been wanting. Here it is. Lockout Man makes the call live with JNR Swoogle. Bam! Let me see if we can get both of us in the, in, in the frame here at the same time. <laughs> is, is, is that good? So, Katie, 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 how are you today? Excellent. This is Katie, y'all. This is who I be telling y'all to call. Every time, every time y'all call me up, y'all be like, yo, uh, I would give Katie to have Katie give you a call. This is Katie. This will be calling you. All right. So, Miss Katie, tell the people what they want to know about JNR Schwugel. Uh, where should we start? Travel lanes. So, you know, areas we run, focusing mainly on the Midwest, east of the Mississippi. You know, vans, you're going to hit out Utah, California. Um, reefers, you're going to be hitting out that California range as well. Um, home time. Really, guys, you know, it's depending on where you're located at. Um, you know, there's rules and there's exceptions to the rules. So if there's a time, you know, home weekly, give me a call. I can check with division managers. They might be able to make something work for you. Um, a lot of our areas, we can do seven to ten days out, two days home. And we don't um, set that two days as 48 hours. You know, you're home on a Friday. You can come out Monday morning. We're not going to calculate it down for you and run it down hour by hour. Um, exactly. So that's what I was trying to tell you guys. Every time you call me up, you'll be like, yo, what lanes to run? All right. So everything east of the Mississippi uh, with a few in the West Coast. Uh, what regional lanes that's that's available as of right now? now because i know she tells me that the lanes change daily here i mean one lane could be open today while it could be closed tomorrow so as of right now 
uh, updated. What's what's available? What you guys are looking for right now? NFL. Right now, Midwest Regional is always usually open. So Minnesota, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. Um, you know, that refrigerated ore van. Um, Southeast Regional, uh, right now, not really hiring out of Florida. But if you're in the Atlanta area, Charlotte, North Carolina area, um, those two can still do home weekly out of there, keeping in that Southeast Regional. Um, you know, if you're down in the Carolina, Georgia area, can kind of still run you in the Southeast Regional. You'd need to be open to running more up uh, East Coast, up Midwest if need be. But, you know, like I said, we can make anything really work. Um, it's just a matter of giving me a call. Let me look into with division managers what we can do to make it work for you. Um, dedicated lanes, I do have a Minnesota to Bronx, New York lane still open. Um, that hiring out of Minnesota and New York, uh, Bronx area, island. Um, now for the Bronx area, do do the do the drivers get extra uh, extra to run in the Bronx, New York? Yes. So they're gonna get their uh, New York City pay going in. Um, it's a dedicated lane. The dedicated portion is Minnesota to New York. Um, and then it's another customer route getting them back to Minnesota to get back under that New York. Okay. Now, how long that's, now, is that new or or um, when did that become available? That's been available for, we've had that for about a year. So All right. Um, now I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of New York, so you don't have to worry <laughs> about me. You don't, you, you don't have to, that? no. No, I'm I'm good. I, I even though it's uh oh, oh there we go. Even though it's kind of uh uh, even though the pay might be good, I'm good. I don't like New York. Uh, what about um what about the now? I know I keep mentioning it, and you told me not to mention it, but the Minnesota to California run is that still available? Um, I've got a Minnesota California slip seat. Okay. Um, in dry vans so week on week off okay. those guys need to be um, looking for drivers out of minnesota to fill that position now drivers that's uh that's like in others in other states mm -hmm. could they do uh could they do like the regional so say like so say like somebody out of texas can they can they do a southeast regional no so those guys they need to um, you need to live within that area um, only because it's hard to get. If you live in Texas and you're doing Southeast Regional Home Weekly, basically we're bouncing you back from Texas to Southeast Regional or to Georgia. So you've got to live within those regions. All right. All right. So what's the, uh, I know the, I, I'm, I'm coming. I, I know the question. I, I know it. So what's the starting CPM? What's the starting CPM? So with six months of experience, um, starting out pay, uh, 47 cents a mile. So it's a 42 cent base pay with a five cent per mile performance pay tied in. All right. So let me break that down even further <laughs> so that you guys, so that you guys know. So as she said, it's a, it's a base pay of 42 cent. All right. So that's, that, that'd be your base pay. But within that, here we go. I know, right? Within that is per diem, okay? So within that base pay, it's 11 cent for per diem. Um, I think per diem is mandatory here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, per diem is mandatory. So it's 11 cent. So you take the 11 cent and you subtract the 42 cent. So your actual base pay is 31 cent. Yeah, 11 subtract 42. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so that would be your actual base pay. But it is still 42 because you're going to get that per diem pay regardless. So, But I'm just saying as far as the breakdown goes is that the P3 incentive is an incentive that we just started uh, last year. Correct. We started it last year, and it took over the actual safety bonus that uh that we had uh that we had going it's the same it's the same thing but it's a it's a little bit better so instead of uh if you if you hit all four i believe uh, uh if you hit all four points you would get a five cent 
and uh, you get a five cent incentive that's added on to your on to your uh, CPM. Uh, it ranged from five all the way down to one, being that safety is is the is the two cap. Uh, so if you don't, you know, if you do something that's not safety related, then you you'll still get three cent. All right. Um, that's John. <laughs> <laughs> you still get three cents. So hopefully I'm able to explain that to you guys now, because the questions that you always ask me is how much do they start? It is negotiable though. If you have more experience. Correct. It goes up based upon, um, verifiable over the road experience. All right, so a person, so between one, uh, I'll say one year, or you got starts at six months though, right? Correct. So six months to a year, maybe two will be that 42 cent, right? Correct. Um, anything up to a year is the 42. Mm -hmm. um, one year to two year, 43. And then it goes all the way up to um, be 47 with 10 years. All right, and that's the 10 years is capped. Correct. At so 47. 47 plus the five, so 52. Okay. All right. So veterans, if you got 10 years of experience and you want a good company to come and rock out with, we'll start you with the P3 is what? 57? 50? 55? 52? 50? 52 cent. Now, if you're already somewhere that you're making money, then stay. <laughs> Don't call. <laughs> Because I don't want you guys to be like, uh huh, I make more than that. Why? So don't come. All right. Um, equipment. Uh, let's talk about the equipment. Mm -hmm. I want a refrigerator. I, I can't give you a refrigerator. Damn it, man. <laughs> uh, let's talk about. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about. <laughs> Let's let's talk about the uh, equipment. What what equipment we uh, we got to offer? So right now we are running uh, 2017 to 2019 Kenworth Internationals. Uh, are they are we an automatic fleet now, or are we, we still? Are. Oh, so we are fully automatic now. Yes, um, we've got some manuals on the fleet. They're going to be the older 2016s. Um, like I tell guys, if you want to come in and run a manual, I can try. I can't absolutely guarantee anything. I can make a note of it. Try and get you in one. I can't guarantee how long that truck's going to be left on the fleet, however, because we do do a three-year rotation. Those 2016s are being going away. All right, so what's the amenities inside the trucks? So they are 100% APU equipped, easy pass, pre-pass, um, in-cab scanning, uh, Qualcomm system with uh, navigation and internet capability. Okay, so internet capability. I don't have that, so how do I access that? It should be. It's on your Qualcomm. As yeah, long we, as you like in somewhere where there's internet. Yeah, we 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 what gotta. Here? Yeah, <laughs> we we gotta. I gotta go back out to my truck and 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 figure that out. Yeah. Um. All right. So, uh, let me break uh break down the uh a little bit more on the amenities. Like she said, we do have APUs. Um, the inverters. Uh, you can come in with your own, but. If the truck is not equipped with an inverter, you will have to get one. Um, it will be taken out of your paycheck, a uh, couple of payments out of your paycheck. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to change anytime soon. I just stand the same. They run about $140, so they're purchased through the shop. We can do payroll deduct. The shop will install them free of charge. Otherwise, if you want to bring your own up to 1500 watt, the shop would install that free of charge as well. There you go. Um, let me see. No refrigerator. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm going to try and get into a Kenworth. You know, I'm going to try. But anyway, um, before though, before uh, when I came on a few years ago, uh, you guys was offering uh, a package for the trucks uh, back in the day. What happened to that program? Was that with the fridges? And the I believe it was a refrigerator and then the EV or the EU direct TV, direct TV package. Epic View. Yeah. You know, the Epic View systems, um, we had issues with uh, back order through direct TV. 
So that's kind of why we've kind of gone away from that. Um, I believe, honestly, the refrigerators, that could have been, you know, just kind of like a promotional thing through um, the truck lines or where we were, you know, getting the trucks from. Yeah, kind of, kind of wish I had that. Yeah. We're going to work on that, though. <laughs> I've been trying. I've been trying my best, but yeah. All right. Um, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the big thing. I know you guys want to know about the big thing. Uh, does the does the truck come with cameras? It does. What's the policy on them? They are critical event only cameras, so they are driver and forward facing. Um, they're only recording for fifteen seconds. They are not recording all the time. Um, no one has time to sit and watch, and no one wants to sit and watch that. See what I keep telling you, uh, I, and, if, and if they do, <laughs> no one I go to see I go that. commando. <laughs> Yeah, that. nobody wants, nobody to, see wants that. to see that. But I'm just saying, though, when I open up that curtain in the morning, no one wants to see it. Yeah, nobody don't want to see no that. One wants to see it. So, but I've seen more times than not that saved the driver. I mean, when you know these drivers come in, we can download the video right to you know on site when they're getting pulled over and there's a car that cuts you off in front. You've got that. We've got it on camera. We can download it right to the officer on site and be like, no, this car pulled in front. It's saving our drivers. It's saving you. It's helping you keep your CDL now, and keeping your. Now, as I said before, the best way, the best way to, the best way, because like I said, I, uh, yeah, Don brought me up in the office one time. I ain't going to lie. You know, had, had, had the phone in my hand, you know, but as long as you don't have your, as long as you don't have your phone in your hand and you, you doing what you're not supposed to be doing, you're good. You're good. I mean, Don. Don is a pretty is a pretty fair guy, you know. I mean, yeah, he's a pretty fair guy. <laughs> um, Don's a good guy. And by the way, this this is Katie right here. This is one of the this is one of the people that really came to bat for me uh, during this during my situation. So, Katie, thank you. Of course, I really do appreciate it. Um, all right, so we talked about the cameras. We talked about the equipment. Uh, we talked about the lanes. Um, what other, what, what other, what would be some other reasons why drivers should choose J and R Fifteen thousand dollars sign on. Break that down. <laughs> of course. I, I'll let her break it down because my breakdown of it is going to be different. <laughs> <laughs> because I missed out on a few, but. Right. I'll let her explain it. Go so ahead. it's paid out over your first 30 months of employment. It's a performance-based incentive. So it's based on dispatch miles. Um, hitting 10,000 dispatch miles for the month is going to get you a $500 payment. Between $7,500 and $9,999 is going to get you a $250 payment. It's recalculated every month and paid on your second paycheck of that following month. All right. So, yeah, it's different. See, when I came in, my sign-on bonus was a little bit less. <laughs> And, um, and like I said in, in my previous videos that I didn't know that it was uh, mileage based because when I was with US Express, um, I wasn't getting, I wasn't getting a sign on bonus, but I was getting my, uh, my referral, not my referral, I'm sorry, my, um, my tuition reimbursed. And the way they paid it was just straight pay every month. But when I got here, that's when I had to get used to because, yeah, I missed out on a, on a few months because of that. So to my disbelief, yeah. Yeah, but I didn't hire you on, so I did not tell you about that. That wasn't me. I, I know. That I wasn't know. me. Actually, uh, <laughs> actually, Sarah came on. Beautiful, uh, beautiful oh, lady. Oh, I miss Sarah. I, I do, too. I do, Sarah's too. Cool. She, uh uh she moved on to bigger and better things so thank you sarah for bringing me on a couple of years ago thank you um but this young lady right here i've been working with ever since uh let me also break uh break down the uh referral bonus uh on top of the on top of the sign on bonus so you guys do get 15 15 1500 right correct all right no 1500 or 15000 Fifteen thousand is your sign on. Okay, fifteen thousand. All right, is the sign on bonus. All right, um, of course, like she said, it's paid out through uh, through the mileage, and it's 
every month. So you figure final payout will probably be in three years, give or take. Probably earlier. Thirty if you, months. So yeah. Two and a half. Two and a half years. Yeah, two and a half there years. Um, on top of that, you have a referral bonus. Uh, the referral bonus is fifteen hundred dollars a month. Uh, the way that's broken down is you get paid the first thousand within the first month, uh, uh, two weeks after the orientation, and then two weeks, you know, before the thirtieth. The last five hundred dollars though comes if the driver stay for the whole three months. All right, that kind of threw me for a loop because a couple of people that has came on, no shots fired. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all pretty much messed up a couple of good potential paychecks. So if you decide to come on and uh, and you use me as a referral or you use any other any of the other Shrugal drivers as a referral, um, try and stick it out. Uh, I mean, if if it don't work, I understand. I mean, if it really, really, truly don't work, then yeah, I understand. But uh, try and stick it out. Uh, you know, try and give it the full 90 days, you know, see, see if it'll work out. You'll be helping the, the driver that, that, uh, that referred you on too, because we won't get our last $500 if you don't stay. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get the thousand within the first month, but yeah, don't, don't forget. We got to go a month and then that third month. Yeah, we we looking for that five hundred dollars. We looking for that. Um, I think one point of them staying too. Um, a good point to hit is, you know, if you're in an area, if you're in a say a regional position, it's not working for you. At that point, give me a call. If you've been here a month and it's just not working, give me a call. Maybe something new has opened up. Maybe there's a different area we can run you in. I mean, within the company, there's so many other options. Um, you know, maybe it's just a matter of flipping you from reefers to vans or. Is that, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We do have a we do have a uh yeah. Van, uh, van fleet. Uh, we haven't touched on that, so let's touch on that for a little bit. What's what's the is is there regional in the van or the van is just strictly over the road? So vans do do um, some regional. Uh, they do a lot of Midwest regional. Um, they do have they had a dedicated Minnes excuse me Minnesota to Indy Lane. Um, that one is filled right now. Um, but Dan vans do do some Midwest regional up in this area, but they do do the over the road. Um, Vans does a majority drop in hook freight. I would say probably about 65% drop in hook. Um, mm-hmm. And like reefers, all of our freight is 100% no touch. Exactly. Uh, but 100% weight. Yeah, 100% weight, depending on, depending on who you ask. <laughs> <laughs> Plus side of Vans, though, drop in hook freight. Yes, yes. Um all right, all right. So uh, I guess we uh, we covered um, we we covered the lanes. Uh, yeah, we got to get her back to work. So no, we fine. we covered the lanes. We covered the uh, referrals. We covered the the trucks. Teams. Uh, teams. Yeah, we we do offer teams. So teams. I need some teams. Um, you know, right now sixty cents a mile split. So fifty five with the five base pay coming out as a team. Both teammates are eligible for that fifteen thousand. So thirty thousand for the both of you. Um, and right now my teams are hitting. I've got vans that are hitting between sixty five, fifty five to sixty five hundred miles a week. What's the what's the average for uh, OTR and what's the average for regional? Um, you know, it really depends on the, with the regional, what regional you're running. Um, you know, and when you're taking your home time. If you're home weekly, I would say, you know, Midwest regional, you're looking at around 1,800, um, you know, over two week period, 18 to 2,200. Um, but my van, or excuse me, over the road guys are hitting between 25 to 2,800. Um, you know, some of those guys are keeping in communication with dispatch, letting them know, Hey, I'm dropping early. Um, you know, coming out of the house right when you need to running it. Vans have some guys here in close to that 3000 range. Exactly. That's where I need to be at. So I, thinking about going over the van. Nah, I'm just kidding. I, I like John Yogurt, so I'm good. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Well, guys, look, uh, if there's any more questions uh, that you guys want to know about JNR Schwigel, definitely hit me up in the comments below. Uh, Katie's information, uh, jnrschwigel.com. You can find her on Facebook at 
Katie uh, at J- or Katie J and R Swoogle Recruiter. Uh, definitely get at me on my Instagram or uh, or any any kind of way. So if you guys want to know anything else about the company that you know that we might not have you know went over or anything, uh, definitely give me a call. Uh, the Itali Link app is linked in the description below as well. That's the cue. The battery is flashing, <laughs> so that's our cue to finish to this up. So, so Katie, I want to thank you very much for taking the time to uh, let the viewers know about uh, J and R Schwugel. Absolutely. Uh, this is who I work with. Y'all actually see her, and uh, I do exist. Yes, she is. <laughs> and she is right. If you do have any issues or something like that, they will try to work it out. All right. It got to be applicable, though. I mean, you can't just come up with just, you know, some off the raw requests. It has to be reasonable. So uh, if it's reasonable and she can do it, it will be done. All right. Lockout Men. And this is a live edition of Lockout Men Makes the Call. So JNR Swoogle, you guys wanted it. This is it. It's done. It is done until next time. You guys take it easy and tell me who to call next. Hey.